The outpouring of goodwill started when the South Dakota basketball team marched into the Havana Coliseum. The players had been told they might be booed. If that happened, they planned to go into the stands to give away souvenirs and to shake hands. That was not necessary as they were cheered loudly. And the two games were a TV spectacular too. Other events lost attendance as thousands of Cubans nationwide stayed home to watch the games covered with new color television cameras. The feeling spread to the streets of Old Havana where the visitors were regarded curiously in this city which has not seen U.S. citizens in large numbers in 17 years. A teacher obliged by posing her students for the camera-toting tourists. The kids were late for lunch, but no one seemed to mind. 22-year-old Olita Proctor from San Francisco is the only United States citizen known to be in college in Cuba. A communist, she came here four years ago to cut sugar cane and today seems to be as much Cuban as American. How do the Cuban people feel about, uh, about Americans in general and, re and improved relations with the United States? Well, most Cubans are very optimistic and very happy about it. Some who have been affected personally by it attacks by the CIA are bitter, but at the same time they're helpful about these new relations. In other words, uh, whereas the governments may have had hostilities for all these years, the people uh, are not quite so harsh in their judgments. Well, the people have never, have never had hard feelings about the United States people, just the government. That's a distinction the Castro government has made for years. And now it's actively courting American tourists since visits here will mean hard currency for a depleted national treasury. Besides the South Dakotans, we met other Americans in the streets who came in through Mexico. It took them just three days to get their visas. Americans who are intent upon coming to Cuba may have to find their own way here through countries like Mexico, Jamaica, or Canada. That's because tour operators in the United States who thought they could begin tours this month have been delayed by the Cuban government. The earliest American tour will probably not begin until sometime in May. Ike Siemens, Channel 4 News, Havana.